Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the fantastic app, Plickers. Now, Plickers is a fantastic tool that allows you to poll your students, ask questions, and get responses in a live classroom environment, but without the need of student devices. So essentially, you just need your device, and what you can do is ask students questions and display these on your board, and then capture this using your phone or iPad or digital device while students are holding up cards representative of their answer. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Thank you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to getplickers.com and you can either Google this or just put it in the web browser. You then need to sign in or sign up. I'll just sign up in this example and you can enter your details or sign in with Google or Apple. I'll use Google and I'll just sign in and this will automatically sign me in. From here, you'll see your library, which is where your question sets will be saved. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create our class. So on the left hand side, you'll see under classes, you can create a class. Here you can create multiple classes. I'm just going to create the one and I'm going to choose create class. Once this is done, I'm going to add my students. You can type these in manually or you can copy and paste them if you've got a list. I'm going to click next. You'll see here now that my students are assigned a number and I can sort and filter these by different ways. So such as last name. And this will assign a number to the student which relates to the card they'll be given. You can also click on print roster so that you can see the students with the number attached as well. And this is really useful if you've got a class and you've got your cards and what you're going to do is actually give them that out so they know what card they've got. You can edit the students as well. So you can go in here and you can add extra students into that class. You can bulk upload extra students and you can print the class roster as well as viewing archive students as well if you needed to. If you select an individual student, you can edit their name. You can disable that student or delete it and you can make them active as well. Let's go now into new set. So we've created our class. We're now going to create our questions that students are going to answer. So on the three dots, you can do things such as import questions and copy. You can add extra questions by clicking the plus. You can bold, italic and underline, undo. You can choose your question type such as graded, which creates questions that are correct or incorrect or surveys. You can choose subscript for maths and you can also insert images, videos, sound clips and GIFs. I'm just going to insert a question here. And once you've done this and you've done the multiple choice, because this is a graded question, there's a correct answer. So I'll select the correct answer. And you can shuffle these as well to mix up the questions and answers. And that really helps. I'll insert an image as well to make this question look a bit nicer. And then here on the bottom of the screen, you'll see you can even change how this looks and even have questions that have got pictures assigned to them as well for the students. Once you're happy, you can continue to create questions and I've created a survey one as well that's not got a correct answer, it's like an exit ticket. Once you've done this, what you can do is print this out. So you could print it out and create a handout. So you don't even need to use the cards, you can create some PDFs for students to complete in their own time or after class, etc. So this is just another way of using Plickers. Once we're happy, we're going to go back to our library. So we're going to use the main plickers now. From here, you're going to select the lesson and you're going to be able to use this. So first, I'm going to create my plickers cards. So I'm going to choose help. And then what I can do is print out my plickers cards. You can buy these and there's various options as well, but printing them is absolutely fine. And you'll see that at the top, there'll be the answer related. So for example, B, A, C or D and the number. Whichever way the students point this up is the correct answer. Once you've done this, what you'll need to do is download the app. So you'll download the app on your device. You'll sign in using the same account and work through. From here, what you can do is you can see your students. And then what you're going to do is choose add library and then choose the question set. Once you've got this, go back to the web browser and press now playing. This will then play the question on the board as well as on your device and you can switch backwards and forwards between the questions using your phone and it will update. Once you're happy, students will then up, put their cards up and you will capture this with your phone. 
And remember, when the students have got their cards up, it will capture all of the responses automatically. You can clear these and view the graphs by clicking the buttons at the bottom. And when students actually turn these, you'll see if it's correct or incorrect as well. Once you've done it and you've stopped it, you'll see the questions as well and the answers. So here you can see, I'm gonna scan this in. I'm gonna press the stop button. You'll see who's answered the question, if they've got it right or incorrect, or if it's a survey, just their responses. And what you can do then, once you have stopped this, is go back to your main computer and you can go on here and actually look at the responses in more detail. So I'm just gonna click close. I'm gonna go back into computing. You'll see now I've got some really interesting reports. I can click mark as done, and I can see how well my students have done in each question, the response rate, and the individual students' responses, and whether they've got them incorrect or correct. So Plickers is a fantastic way of engaging students with technology, but without the need of a digital device. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really does help. Thank you.